It's a couple of weeks before Christmas, uh, 1967, and a storm comes uh, ac down uh, across Arizona from the northwest. And it looked like just another winter storm at the time, but then this, this high pressure built up over the Rocky Mountains, and it stayed there. And it was a very strong high pressure. It was one they called an omega block because it's shaped like the Greek letter omega. But the block is the, is the operative part of that phrase because what it does is it just keeps any other weather from moving past it. And so as, as this storm came by, it ran into that, that high pressure system and it stopped and it just started snowing and it couldn't go anywhere and so it just kept snowing and it kept snowing. And the snow started toward the, the middle part of, of December and in Flagstaff within the first few days they already had two feet of snow on the ground. The snow just kept coming and it, and it accumulated and after the third day they were approaching four feet in some of the areas of Flagstaff. And then just as that storm was starting to kind of weaken and move out, another one came in from the same direction and it started, uh, and it started to snow. And the whole series of, of snowstorms, they lasted almost eight days. By the time the storms had completely moved out and the snow had stopped, uh, there, were two, there were two records set. The, the statewide record for snow depth was set over at Holly Lake, which was also the coldest place a few years later. And they ended up over the, the period with about 102 inches of snow total. Uh, the official record, once it had all settled, was 91 inches, but their total accumulation was almost 103 inches. In Flagstaff, they wound up with 86 inches over those, over those few days, which was enough to, to reach up to the second floor of some of the buildings. Uh, and the, the, the weather forecasters at the airport were actually snowed in for four days because there was so much snow there. By the time the storm was over, uh, there were nine deaths that were attributed to the storm throughout the area. Most of them were exposure. People basically were outside and froze to death.